Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I just thought that I would try to get back into the swing of things by doing a quick mail opening. I've had some mail piling up over here and um, I've got some good stuff. I've also got some gifts that I thought that you might like to see. Um, if you see Jaffa, he is down here. Um, he's laying in Big Brother's bed now. Um, and yeah, so he is my new studio buddy. And of course, as always, we have Druzy who is right here. Never too far. Um, quick update from the last video. Um, our dog, Bruca, he ended up passing away. Uh, we made the difficult decision. Jaffa, Jaffa. We made the difficult decision to put him down to avoid any pain from his cancer. Um, and so, yeah, it's been a whirlwind of a week and a half. It's been very trying and very, you know, just um, the hardest thing that we have ever had to do. But we are pushing through. We're moving forward. Um, and, yeah, so here I am. I'm back trying to get back into it. I apologize if I'm a little red. I've been... <laughs> crying on and off. Um, we got a beautiful gift from our mail lady today. She had um, the stone made for him. It's very heavy. It's a cement block, but it says in memory of our Ruka. And it says, if love could have saved you, you would have lived forever. And I don't know. I just thought that was really sweet of her. Um, all Ruka ever did was bark at our mail lady, but... <laughs> she still you know um loved him and it was really sweet before he passed she came up to the door and knocked and asked if she could see him and she gave him lots of lovings and pets and yeah so that was really sweet the um outpouring of love and support that we have received from my online communities has been nothing short of incredible and uh very very heartfelt thank you to all of you who have commented or sent messages or gifts and flowers i mean we've received <laughs> so much love the last week and a half and so for the bottom of our hearts thank you so much um so yeah let's oh so i was going to tell you with this stone that our mail lady got for us it came from blessing and light so blessing and light and that's um facebook and instagram and they include a really nice little card and then they printed out a card from our mail lady with her personalized note. So if you're ever in the unfortunate need for a handcrafted gift um, for like an in memory of, I highly suggest checking them out. Um, they have memorials, bookends, garden stones, magnets, and home decor. And obviously you can um, personalize it and all of that. So blessing and light on that memorial stone. Um, a couple of other things that I wanted to show you before I got into the mail opening. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy the gifts that I showed you the last time I did a mail opening. And so I recently discovered this lady on Instagram. And her name is Danielle Coke. And she makes these really cool graphics. And so I ordered a couple of them. They're really nice. They're um, printed on just thick cardstock but then they have like a nice mat board behind them and um this one is about being created to do good work that empowers and inspires liberates and transforms and just goes on to basically um remind yourself that even though doing good work is hard it is worth it and so i'm going to hang this up in my studio to help keep focused um Mostly with social justice work, that's why I got this, because we cannot become complacent. We must stay vigilant and keep fighting for our brothers and sisters of color, all colors. We're all equal. Um, this other one that I got is, I got this one for my girlfriend. She um, is very open about her struggle with mental illness, and I just really thought that this was a great print. It says, things to remember about storms. And so it kind of goes through just like the storm cycle. And of course, at the end, it reminds you that there's a rainbow and a sunny day always comes afterwards. So you're not always going to be stuck in the storm. So yeah, you can get these at ohappydanny.com slash shop. And I'll put the information for everything in the description, like always. Um, but yeah, she has lots to choose from and they're all original work. And she's a black maker. So I love that I was able to support a black illustrator with purchasing these. Oh, another black design or black 
maker, creator that I also discovered on Instagram. Um, her name is Alika Turner, and I don't know how, I was just clicking through. Um, I've, I've been trying to be really vigilant on not just purchasing from the same places all the time. I've been trying to find people of color, indigenous, black um, makers and creators and writers and illustrators to purchase from as well, because without even realizing it, we can we just get stuck in our own bubbles and in our own comfort. And so I somehow clicked through and found these books. Sorry, I'm going to reach for my phone. Oh gosh, sorry. Sorry, my phone is dying. Um, but anyway, so I got this book for my little niece. It's called June Peters, You Will Change the World One Day. And so this is by a mama and she wrote it for children of color, which um, you probably don't know, but my little niece is a is a human of color, and um, she's not black, but she is a person of color. And so I just really thought that it was a great idea to introduce her to all sorts of different literary works instead of again getting stuck in that um, one frame mind and the standard you know books that we get. And then when I ordered June Peters, she also sent this book that her son wrote which i think is really cool and it's called things i like and it was written by her son of course with her help and then illustrated and this is just a really this i think this book will be really great for early learners early readers um because it's they're very short sentences and um talks about all sorts of things that everybody loves like eating ice cream so again i will um I cannot for the life of me, I just searched for like 20 minutes trying to find her Instagram handle and I couldn't find it. So I am going to, um, I'll Google this where to find these and I will link that below for you too. For you or a child in your life, it's always good that they have different representation. They're not just seeing, you know, one skin color, regardless of what skin color that is. Um, but you know, we're all, the whole world is made up of many different skin colors and so it's important to have that representation. Um, kind of switching gears here. Um, I have been ordering from Grove.co. I don't know if you've ever heard of that company. Um, they're an online store of sorts, but they sell, um, more sustainable options of your everyday items. And so for example, like I got these reusable plastic bags. So this would be like a regular Ziploc, but it's a, it, this would be the snack size. And they're cool because they have these wide flat bottoms on them and they come with these cute little designs. This one has cactuses on it, or succulents. Um, and I love these. I have some for myself and loved them so much that I picked some up for my little sister and they come in all different sizes. But I also wanted to talk about the fact that Grove sells all sorts of stuff. So not only do they have health and beauty, they have cleaning supplies and then they also have, um, like body wash and makeup and just pet supplies and supplements and toilet paper. You can get toilet paper delivered to you. Um, so we have been using their toilet paper now for a few months and it's bamboo. So it's a hundred percent sustainable, which I love. It's affordable and it comes in its own little box and it comes straight to your door. So I will link that below. Um, this can be like a, you scratch my back, I scratch your back situation. I'll leave my code. If you order from Grove, I'll get a discount and then you'll get a discount. But I highly suggest checking them out if you're trying to move towards a more sustainable, you know, uh, experience in life, which I highly suggest. Um, one last gift that I got, I actually tried to be um, ahead of the curve this year. Normally I'm scrambling for birthday gifts. Um, but I saw this again on Instagram and I had it in my shopping cart forever and I wasn't sure if it would still be there when I went back to get it. But anyways, my husband's birthday is coming up, um, actually very soon. It's this month. So I'm glad that I ordered this, but so this is going to, it's going to be a handmade jewelry. I have not seen it yet, but this is how it's packaged. And the company is spelled T-R-O-L-L-B-I-N-D-E. So I think it's Trollbindi, Trollbinde, I'm not entirely sure. I am gonna unwrap this so that I can show you and we can look at it. But this is nice, they, it looks like they made paper, so it's like hand dyed seeded paper with flowers in it, pressed paper rather. And so my husband and I have matching um, cicada tattoos. Mine's right here. 
And so this is a handmade cicada amulet. Get it open. And so this is how it's packaged. Packaged very well. <laughs> Oh wow, it's a lot bigger than I expected. And she included a, a gift too. So this is the amulet. So it's a, a hand cast cicada with a jade stone in the middle of it. And then it has this really cool arrowhead design on the back. That's the back. Here's the front. And then it came with this nice chain. That's really pretty. It is significantly larger than I expected. I was thinking it to be smaller, but my husband can be bougie sometimes. So I'm sure he'll enjoy it. And then she also sent this cool snake ring that I might keep for myself. And so cicadas symbolize the triumph of your sweet emergence, which I don't know if you guys knew this, but the cicadas, the 17 year cicadas are about to emerge if they haven't already in the Northeast. Pretty interesting stuff if you haven't seen that. Um, so the cicada symbolizes the triumph of your sweet emergence. Whether you are on the path of becoming or have arrived, she will protect the new self, the resurrected spirit, and the immortal you. So I thought that, that was really a cool little saying as well, especially going on with what we've been dealing with with our dog. It's just kind of all fit together perfectly. Just have to get that wrapped back up for him later. All right, so here are a couple of mail openings, actual sewing related mail openings. If you're still here, thank you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you like to see the gifts that I purchase, because um, if not, then I, I won't show them anymore. But if you do, then I will keep showing. Um, so this first one is from Fabric Funhouse, in case you can't tell by the color of the mailer. They recently got into metal zippers so if you use zipper by the tape zipper by the yard um and you're not a huge fan of nylon or if you want to branch out and try metal give fabric funhouse a try oh nice they sent it in this really cool suede bag i think it's suede oh this is beautiful so they sent me this navy blue zipper tape. It's nice and soft, very flexible. It's like cotton feels like, so it's different than um, a nylon tape because this is, it's like twill tape. That's what it feels like. Hey, Druzy. Sorry, she just grabbed it. Um, and then the teeth are gunmetal and it just feels like really nice and heavy duty. And this would be, yeah, this is going to be nice to work with. They also sent some zipper stops so that I can cut the zipper down to size. And, oh, these really cool zipper heads. So the zipper heads are nice and large. Nice and large. And then I like that they have this flat area along the bottom because then you could add a pole, like a cork pole to it. So this is going to be cool. I will do a video on how to cut metal zip tape down to size. Um, I know a lot of people are intimidated by metal zippers and there really is no need to be intimidated. Um, they just with a couple of tools, um, they are just as quick and easy to use as any other, like a nylon zip. So that was nice. Thank you to Talia and Michelle for sending me this. Let me know what I should make with it. It's so pretty. I'm not usually a navy blue fan, but this color is just really rich. Yeah, I'm excited about that. It just feels nice. It's like it feels really good quality. Okay. Let's see. If I remember correctly, this should be fabric. And I did remember correctly. So this fabric came from Sew for a Song. I'm sure that I got it on Etsy. 
really pretty. So they've got it packaged up nicely and safely, which is always a good sign. Oh yeah, so this is the new, who is it? I think it's, is it Melody Miller? Oh, Sarah Watts. So Sarah Watts just put out this new Florida line and it has this gold in it. I got a couple of yards of this because I want to remake, um, or I want to make myself some pajama pants that I talked about in the last couple videos. This is really pretty. It's got like a, it's like a lilac. The Monstera is a lilac with the gold accents in it. And then it has this dark blue background with purple, almost like a batik purple. And then it has these cute little moons, gold moons grow. And then I also got this that is also in her Florida line as well. And it's like a navy with gold. I'm a sucker for anything gold. You should see my house. Let's see. I got this. Now, if I remember correctly, this is not part of the Florida line. I think this might just be another. Oh, yeah, this is just a cotton and steel. This is um, Aaron McManus of Paper Raven Co., which I don't think I've, I've, I'm not familiar with her as a designer very well, but um, cotton and steel, they always have, you know, really nice cottons. Ooh, and then I got this colorway. I forgot that I got this colorway as well. So this is like a mint green background with pink flowers, minty monsteras, and then gold with the moons. I think I got this with making a big beach bag. Um, like I posted on my Instagram a few weeks ago, the giant bag with the cork bottom. I think that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I got this, which... If you know me, you know I'm into anything mustard. Mustard and gold are my colors. And so this is the Rashida Coleman Hale print. And I love it because it's got little prints. I, I feel like I'm seeing a theme here. All of my fabrics have monsteras on them. But it has all the different bases or vases, however you say it. And of course it's mustard. And it has the gold, the shiny gold. These are all so exciting. All right, and then... The main reason I wanted to do this unboxing video or this whatever product video is because I ordered this and it's just been sitting because when I finally got it in, it took it a while to get here. I got it overseas. And when I finally got here, I um, was dealing with the Ruka situation and I thought that this would be a really fun one to show you guys. Um, yeah, so I have been waiting to open this for weeks. Da, da, da. Do you guys know what this is? This is a heat foil press. I ordered it a while back. Like I said, I directly ordered it from overseas. Um, and basically this will do my branding for me and I can do hot foil. So I can do gold and silver foils or any color. I feel like I forgot some stuff down here. So the package did up super nicely. Okay, and here's all the accessories that go with it. I'm going to have to spend some time figuring out how to do all this. So it's hot stamping machine directions. Oh good, it's in English and in Chinese, so that's good. I can... um practice my Chinese. Just kidding. I wish I knew how to speak Chinese or read it, but yep. So, and then they sent, oh, they sent me pink and 
in silver. They're supposed to send me gold, but I guess I'll just have to order my own. But anyways, the way that it works, let me see if I can tilt you down. Oh, so far away. Oh gosh, sorry. So the way that this works is that this plate right here heats up and I can put my sonar brand on it and then I'll be able to lift it and press it down like so. And then it'll apply the even it'll apply even pressure and then I won't get the wonky um, brand, which I'm really excited for. I'm not sure what that is. And then with it, I also got we all know how good I am at opening up tape bubble wrap. as uh, annoying to me as it is to you, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the plate that the letters go into. So I got alphabet letters and they slide into here. And then this plate slides into here, which then does the press. And then, so this must be the alphabet. And I was able to get a custom alphabet set, which all of my, um, the font that I use on my business is Railway. So I was able to get, um, get this custom set. And so you just take the number or the letters. They're bigger than I expected. But so that's a P. And then you slide it into this bar. And then it looks like that. And then the only thing with these that I'll have to get used to is um, you have to put it in backwards. You have to spell your word backwards or else when you stamp it, it's going to be stamped backwards. So yeah, this is exciting. This um, these letters are a lot bigger than I expected. I was thinking them that they were, I was thinking that they were going to be half inch, and they are just over a half inch. Which this could be cool, like on a big bag, you know, doing initials or things like that. But I'm really excited now. I can offer monogramming. And I also got numbers and. What are these? Oh, a different signs, um, you know, a heart and exclamation and a pound sign, a money sign, asterisk. And then they also sent me lowercase. So I have uppercase and lowercase. So this will be a really fun toy to play with. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. I am going to go so that I can get this set up and start playing with it. Uh, of course, I will do a video once I get this bad boy figured out and show you um, what I've learned. And hopefully I uh, won't burn myself or mess anything up too bad. Uh, anyways, I'm glad that you guys are here. I appreciate you tuning in and staying the whole time if you did. Again, be sure to let me know if you like the, uh, the gift unboxings or if you'd rather me stick to just sewing. And uh, be sure to check the description box below for all the links. See you next time.